When I arrived, the kitchen was like covered in oil. But it's a nice place to live. Hi guys, and welcome to a new video of New in Britain. In this video, we have the help of Dan. Come here, Dan. Thank you, Nai. So today we're gonna speak about houses in Oxford, the price, quality, and many other things. And what we're gonna do as well, we're gonna go to the streets and ask people what they think about it. So if you would like to know the outcome, watch the whole video. Stay with us. Uh, my name is Natasha. Uh, my name is Llorenz. Chris Church. Uh, my name is Charlotte. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. From here, not Yeah, I'm from Spain. Um, Benidorm Alicante. Of course. You know? Yeah. I live in Oxford. Um, I'm from here. I was actually born at the JR. Um, and so with my mum and so with my gran. So. And how do you feel about the house in Oxford? They're nice, but they're a lot smaller than they are in the US. Sometimes are overpriced and they are really, really dirty. I just need to say that my landlord is not really in the mental health. Too expensive. Very, very expensive. I've just um, graduated and I was in Cornwall, so I've come back here. You know, it's kind of impossible to even find a place to live here because I'm looking at nearly like 800 pounds a month for one person, plus cancel tax, which is ridiculous. Like, the prices for um, jobs have gone up, but obviously the rent has to go up, so it's kind of impossible to win either way. So I'm actually having to relocate to like another country in Cardiff, you know. Yeah, I think it's too expensive because for example, I'm living alone in a single room, so I pay around 500 plus bills. So it's so difficult to have the money at the end of the month. So I think it's too expensive. And in this month, my landlord increased my rent is 150 pounds for everybody. A lot of them are very nice, but a lot of them are very, very expensive. House prices in Oxford are very high. I moved back from London five years ago mm -hmm. and, you know, it's, Oxford is basically the same as London. There are a lot of jobs available in Oxford but people can't afford to live here who are working here. Yeah. Um, My mother was in the hospital. Most of the nurses on her ward last year yeah. were driving 20 miles or more, 25, 30 kilometers, whatever, yeah. to come to work. Um, I don't think there's enough of them, um, and I think they're really expensive for people who, yeah, I know they, um, I know I heard particularly that when the Westgate came in, they had difficulty attracting staff because people couldn't afford to live here and work retail, which is it's not good, so that, that needs to be sorted out. Do you have a garden? Yeah, yes. I'm lucky, we have a lot of suburban space, so yes. What is very good in it? Oxford is crowded, but not too crowded. Um, yeah, it's, it's fairly okay. Yeah, I do. Small garden, not really, like, they, nobody takes care of the garden, so it's a mess. It does. Uh, no, I don't. I have a floor flat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Does it take you long? Uh, no, it doesn't. No, not really, because um, because I've been living here before. So I, when I came back, I just tried to find a place close from the city center because I, I just work in the city center. Twenty minutes. Like minutes each way. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one hour. I need to take two buses every day. So yeah, oh. around fifty minutes. Yeah. I actually run my own business from home, but I am no more than, I'm about 15 minutes by bus from the city centre. Um, I'm really lucky actually, I'm only about a, a 20 minute walk to work, um, so I, work, I live just off the Coney Road and I work at Churchill, so for me it's really convenient. Mm -hmm. um, Is the bed where you're sleeping comfortable enough? Are you feeling okay with it? I don't have a bed yet, so I'm waiting for that to arrive tomorrow. I'm just rocking there right now. Yeah, Aww. the bed is okay. The, the room is okay. The, it's just the rest of the house. Yes. Yeah. No, with my bed, no. <laughs> no, bed. <laughs> no, because I asked my landlord, for example, ah, it's too expensive. 
I need to try, but never come here. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've, I've been quite lucky. Um, I know there are other people who haven't. Um, I've been in looked at a couple of shared houses before we moved into the flat, and many of them were really bad. Do you feel comfortable with your kitchen? Have you got all what you need? The utensils yeah, that that's like the nicest part. When I arrived, the kitchen was like covered in oil, and yeah, everything really nice. Just spiders on the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everywhere. Like Kill. spiders. I think that the way that they're built can be a lot better. I don't think they make use of space, especially in like the housing that I'm in at the moment. Like they could have done a lot more with the space in the cupboard room. Or there's I find it really ridiculous, especially under the sink when you've got like this random drawer that won't open. It's like why did you put it there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In my in my house the kitchen is really good. Um, yeah, for example last week we broke the toasting on my toaster. Lalo bring toast and my Lalo bring the new one. I'm very happy with the condition of the kitchen. Yeah, yes, I mean you know, it's a small kitchen but they it was the way the house was designed. So now if you think about how much you pay, do you think the quality that you get is good for that price? Yes. Well, I think that we are two in the room. Um, we pay 600, 600 for four weeks. So that's not too bad. I mean, you can get something better with no spiders and everything. But it will, be, but it will get like 900 for two. So it's not really that's too you. bad. Depends what housing you're in, I guess. If it's council housing, then I guess it is pretty decent for what you get. No, no, no. No, I'm not happy. Well, I mean, we. It was about the same price as a three bedroom flat in London, three bedroom house in Oxford with a garden, whereas it was a flat in London, in a not particularly expensive part of London. Yeah. Um, I think compared to what happens in other parts of the country, Oxford is very expensive. Indeed. But it's a nice place to live. <laughs> if you have the money, we will buy a house in Oxford. Uh, no. Yeah, probably, because it probably gets a lot of money. Seven hundred pounds each month. You're, you don't need to work. Actually, my landlord does it. Yeah, if I had the money, but I'm never gonna have the money. I'm just like I'm a graduate. <laughs> I'm basically <laughs> stuck in a system where I'm gonna have to pay back stuff I can't, and I'm in a profession that shouldn't have lost a lot of money, in my opinion. <laughs> like I'm a dancer, not a lawyer. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work is rare for me. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's a good business in Oxford, in Oxford and the UK. I think so. And now I need to save money, but I don't have nothing. I, I might. Um, I mean, I. It's a difficult challenge. I mean, people need. I think the house, the, the you know, buy to let market is distorting the housing market in Oxford. Um, I think it would be much better. Well, it depends. Um, what price you're going to rent it? A friend of mine rents, rents her the flat she inherited. She has her own house. She got a second, got a flat, and she rents that out to young postgraduate academics yeah. at something well below the market rate because she she still makes money off it. But she says she would feel guilty about charging the full market rate. So the final question now is, what do you think of people? Then they are buying houses to let, increasing the housing prices in Oxford, making it really hard for people like you and us to stay here. That's unfortunate. Um, Candle Park, though, the school's not very good. Not in Oxford. Um, not in Oxford. I am looking to be back in Oxford in the next uh, three to five years in order to be able to afford to buy. Well, that's really unfair, but the thing is, like, it's something that is not happening just in Oxford. It's happening everywhere. It's happening in Spain and Madrid, it's happening the same now. They just rent the houses overpriced because many people want to rent a house. So, there is not much that we can do. I don't think it's fair. I honestly don't think it's fair. Like, I think everyone should have you know, equal opportunities and 
we live in a generation now where people have bought years, years before so they can put it up as much as they want, whereas you know, we don't have the opportunity. I think so. They, they need to think in people. We are coming from another countries. We need to save money to eat, bus, transport. And I think we need to think about the people, just think it. I want money, I want money, 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 money. I think it is a real problem. Um, I can't, I don't know any immediate solution apart from maybe, you know, surcharges. Um, at the same time, Oxford is full of people who are here for a short period. They're called students. <laughs> and um, I think quite a lot of students want to live in houses rather than university accommodation. And living in a shared house is often a very good experience for people. I did it myself for many years and I really enjoy it. So I think, you know, there is always going to be a market for rental. And I think, you know, in a place like Oxford, that's inevitable. But I think it is unfortunate that people who need long term rental to come and live here with a view to maybe buying something simply cannot afford it. There we go, guys. We have finished the questions and we have got some answers now. So, what's your opinion then? Thanks, Yunai. Yeah, in conclusion, I can say that someone says that the quality is good, some of them say the quality is bad. The price, all of them say the price is very expensive. Yes, I totally agree with that. And like even with this lady who couldn't afford to live in Oxford and she had to move to Wales, or even this lady who said that her house is full of spiders and she hated it. But anyway, uh, as well as we have got, we've got different alternatives. Isn't it done? Yeah, we have very good option for them. It's a boat yeah. behind us. People can live in a boat and in fact, we've got somebody which he even told us that we can interview him there. So if you would like us to do that, give us a like. Also, subscribe for the button here. Yep. Don't forget to comment, okay? Speak later. See Hasta la vista.